<laughs> oh, all right. I haven't seen much of Kani. I, I've seen plenty of SNES. I've played against SNES a couple times, but now he's uh, he's a he's a da he's always a dangerous bracket threat. Yeah, Kani not super well known. He kind of just uh, if anyone knows, there's a weekly that in uh, Crystal Lake, Illinois, that, that happens every week, every Thursday. It's about like 16 entrants a week. Kani loves to go to that tournament and just farm. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But he's finally le he's leaving his home now and. Looks like he's doing well here in top four from your cut point. We'll see how he does outside of the nest. I mean, so far, uh, this is this is gonna be kind of a tough matchup for him just because uh, you know SNES practices a lot with Runaway. Um, it's, it, Runaway is kind of the guy who, or not Runaway, sorry, um, Kicker. Right? Yeah, Kicker is the one who yeah. kind of like you know brought SNES up. So like, he's definitely gonna have experience in this matchup. Uh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> a quick knock for the 50-50. Uh, kind of doesn't seem as into it, but that's all good. So we'll reset a few stocks. Yeah, uh, I will say there's actually a run back from winner's bracket. These two played in winner's quarters, I think, and SNES did take it to a, so oh, wow. Connie, I'm sure hungry for the run back. Yeah, with, uh, yeah definitely, definitely. And uh, you know, so much on the line here. Ooh, going for the double PK fire, but Samus is so weirdly floaty that uh, the jump PK fire did not hit. Uh, that's something you gotta keep out for. Samus, because of how floaty she is, you gotta like adjust your uh, attack heights for that. Yeah, no, with that long, lengthy body, she can seemingly just like fall out of hits sometimes. Oh, oh, that, I, th I thought for a second I'd take it, but no, 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 not quite. Oh, the, cl the Samus classic jab one, run back, wait to see what they do. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll do it for sure. Yeah, up smash on ledge, always scary to deal with, and oftentimes people just end up getting up into it. Okay, drop down with the neutral air. Oh, I, I lo love those little feints. Yeah, trying to fake them out a bit. Getting the bombs. Let, being at ledge against Samus, probably the worst position to be in in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> so many tools, such a constant just like output of hitbox, which can be really scary. But uh, even scarier is dealing with an edge guarding mess. Gotta make it back for now. Oh, why ain't that got the ledge, I wonder? All right, does not matter. Connie makes it back. All right, putting the bombs out. Of course, Ness can't absorb those. And force. Wow. Yeah, tries to brute force it through the bombs, but ends up getting tapped up and uh, right in the range for that uh, forward smash. So one stock apiece. Connie definitely had a bit of a deficit, though. We'll have to see what uh, what he has up his sleeve. Oh, oh, falling out of the up air. A little unfortunate there. Yeah, it looked like he was looking for a back air out of it, but uh, wasn't able to connect. And all of a sudden, back on the back foot, getting chased down. Yeah. Samus can make these comebacks if he finds those right charge shot placements. The thing is, it's scary against Ness because if he not sees it coming, you're just going to get that all healed and all your work was for nothing. Yeah. And uh, a challenge on the shield righteously uh, smacked down from there. Game one to Ness. Yeah. I feel like this matchup probably not super fun for Samus. Of course, I don't play IRB's character, so I can't speak for certain. <laughs> but like on paper, this seems a little annoying for Samus. Yeah, it's such a small body with fast hitboxes that you can't really do as many of the shenanigans you want to do. Plus, the uh, PK magnet basically invalidates the casual uh, charge shot spam. Yeah, you can't really just shoot back and throw out those charge shots like you do against other characters. You actually got to scrap a bit. Samus's normal scenarios are strong, though. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, they've just got much more specific hitboxes, whereas Ness kind of just has that, you know, that nair and that up air that both just like cover most of his body. I think what I want to see from Connie here is a lot more light missiles when he has space. Just because I think the slow meandering nature of it gives him a little bit of extra time to think, and it's not going to be something that uh, SNES can really deal with from the that. Interesting. Yeah, I think that might be a good strategy here. Right now, has not really formed at all. Kind of going for more of the short hop aerial approach. This time, he will connect a double PK fire, gets it back here to follow up. There's another one. Wow. That's looking super dominant here. In the yeah, game. You know when he's feeling it, when in between stocks he's just running around, down tilting, you know, just really making sure that A button's on, uh, you know, on and uh, at maximum efficiency. Oh, tries to cover left there. Yo-Yo not quite in the right spot. All right, how, how do you get this juggle? Oh, he's really not, not afraid to put the out that forward smash. Connie kind of just let it rip, lets it rip a lot. Yeah, no, I think maybe like, you know, the wind up of it is very similar to the jab and the jab comes out so quick that maybe he's kind of relying on a little bit of a uh, little bit of fear or a little bit of surprise with it. And so far it's worked out for him. Uh, I, honestly, I'm not, I'm not super against it in this matchup.
especially if uh, Sness keeps trying to run up on him. Yeah, and that is Sness's game plan. He is known for running up on people. <laughs> oh, yeah. he, he's not a campy Ness. He will, he will be in your face whenever he can be. Yeah. <laughs> it really, it really proves that a uh, that, uh, that a Ness can be frustrating from just about any place now. Yeah, down smash will finally take it. But Connie shaking his head in the player cam looks a little frustrated right now, and I don't blame him. A lot of people that fight Sness for their first time, it can be frustrating. And this is his second time fighting Sness today. <laughs> yeah, so probably probably still kind of grappling with like what he needs to do because Sness really just bringing a type of Ness that uh, he hasn't been prepared for in the past. It seems like. Yep. Ooh, good spot that's right there. Down smash just to cover him. No, nope, not finding you down there. Yeah, really felt like that bomb was gonna set everything up for him. A uh, little, little bit of a greedy move. Doesn't look like he's getting punished for it so far though. Oh, I'm surprised that's there with going for it. Oh, I think that's dead. Yeah, 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 you can't tech it. Not not at that percent. That move comes untuckable at like 40. Yeah, it's it's a scary move to challenge. On paper, it just seems so. It seems like Ness would be so vulnerable. Yeah. But with, with with how with how lethal it is, and you know the little trail of the PK Thunder one, it can really it can really catch a lot of people off guard if they're not like if they don't have a for sure disjoint to deal with it. Yeah. And I'm not sure what Sam's is best. Obviously, if Ness is doing it from far away, you can just go off and shoot a charge shot at him, probably. Uh. But challenging it with your aerials seems a little risky there, as we saw Connie yeah. losing that game because of that. Yeah, anything that puts that hurt box a little too close is just asking for trouble. So we're gonna get a run back to Kalos. I, I, I guess, you know, you got the wall jumps and you have like a very tight, flat wall underneath the ledge, which kind of forces that bomb to become more of a problem. Yeah. But I'm still, a little curious if another map might have been, uh, or another stage might have been better. Yeah. I don't know what the bands are here. This is, I feel like this is a good stage for Samus once she's playing that more campy kind of stay away from the opponent, put her up charge shot play style. But you can't really do that against Ness. Like, you can check with the magnet. So maybe a different stage for a different play style might be the play here. Had the lead, but Ness decided to make it his lead with healing that charge shot there. Yeah, once again showing that he can't really, he can't really like zone out at all. He can't really like, he can't let an errant shot through. It, like every charge shot needs to be very considered here, and he needs to be ready to charge the ensuing time or uh, punish the ensuing time damage out of it. Oh, that's a, that's gonna be a nasty. Ooh, never mind. All right, he knows what to do. Got the clutch fairy time right there. Samus is pretty heavy, so that's not gonna take it just yet. Kalos also coming in play there. Heavy glass sense. Uh, I like that Sness has been so uh, so quick to make sure that every loose bomb he runs up and uh, and just gets a quick little heal off. Of it. The little things that are going to add to that efficiency make him that much harder to kill. Yeah, I feel like Sness has definitely been hit for over 100% this game, but right now he's sitting at 59 with all the heals he's gotten. Just, they've been little heals, but they're adding up. Oh, without a doubt. Meanwhile, Connie has no way to bring that marker down other than lose a stock. He'll be back at zero, not the way he was open up. Oh, grabs him through the flames. That looked kind of hardcore, but was it worth it though? You're at 40. And this is a dangerous situation. A lot of momentum on Sness's side right now. But finding his way back is uh, apparently, apparently without any, uh, any, any damage, any wounds. Oh, no jump on this, Samus. What do you do? You gotta rely on those bombs. Oh, wow, Clinks with the yo-yo, uh, gonna make it back for now. Yeah, it's for, oh, but up the, that back there was way too low space to punish it. Yep, oh, goes for the Zare, interrupts his recovery a little bit, still has to jump though, he's gonna make it back. Yeah. This looks, this set looks like it might be curtain soon. Yeah, it looks like, <laughs> it even looks like Sness is starting to just look for his, uh, like his, you know, his little, his little strings uh, magnet into the, a Twitter and clip. Yeah, <laughs> he's looking for a Twitter clip right now. Oh, Ooh. gonna drop his stock there though. And a quick little SD. I mean, hopefully uh, for Connie, this is the momentum that he sees. But right now, I'm thinking this is still all Sness. Yeah, Sness. Oh, okay. Ooh. Eats a full charge shot right there. Eats another almost full one. Wow. I think. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, Connie. Connie's not cooking. Me uh, stop cooking. Man. Cook a little too hard. Yeah, a little, little, little overcooked. A little overcooked. Gotta turn that burner off at some point. Well, he had the he had the right energy going off stage for it, trying to bring that back to an yeah. even stock deficit. But uh, that PK Thunder once again showing uh, you can't miss if you're gonna go after it. Yeah. You cannot. I feel like the player is probably to let the charge.